All right, man. <clears throat> Got an update for Shakira Stevenson and Oscar Valdez and um and Earl Spence rumor. I just call it a rumor, but solid. But a lot of stuff sometimes do change, and sometimes people throw stuff out there to throw it out there. So, um, but we start off with Shakira Stevenson. That's the less interesting news because we already knew people talking people you know talking about whole Shakira signed the comment uh. Oscar Valdez signs the contract, this, that, and the third. I'm just like, bro. I'm like, he's going to sign the contract. I know you people worried about him signing the contract. He's going to sign it. You don't have no other way to go. They didn't really want to make the Nevada fight top rank, and then he didn't get offered a lot, a lot of money to fight Nevada. He got offered a lot more money to fight. Uh, he got a lot more money to fight. Oh boy. Uh, it's secure Stevenson, so it's probably gonna be. I can't really say, but it's probably gonna be his biggest, uh, his biggest payday. So, I mean, even when he relinquished his belt not to fight secure at 126 pounds featherweight, um, he knew this day was coming, he knew he would have to fight him. And you know, like I said before, people think, like, what's the, what's the danger in this fight? You know, I'm saying the danger is when you fight somebody. That you don't know, you know, you you probably can't hit. That's the danger. People say, well, Shakira don't hit hard. He ain't a knockout artist. And I thought, I thought that Nervete <clears throat> would have brought more pain. But then again, he's a guy that's moving up just like Oscar Valdez, but he moved up a couple weeks. But I still think he would have he would have inflicted more damage <laughs> on him. Just my opinion. And you know, for whatever reason, he knew he would have to see this guy. Regardless, there's really nowhere to run. And people attribute a lot of that due to the Bud lawsuit. They had to make this fight. And Shakur was talking about how they were trying to do something else. They offered Shakur Burchett, and Burchett didn't want Shakur. But Burchett would be fighting in March against, uh, remember, the African cop that Shakur just fought in a boring old fight. That's who Burchett fighting in March. So, like I said, Burchett deserved an easy fight, um, you know, because he had, he had COVID when he lost to uh, – allegedly he had COVID when he lost to uh, – when he lost to Oscar Valdez, so he wasn't even 100%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wasn't even 100%. So everybody told him how good about Oscar Valdez performed. You could tell, uh, I, you know, Burchett wasn't, you know, he wasn't what he, he wasn't 100% in that fight. I just couldn't put my finger on what it was. And as the rumor was, it was, uh, a rumor was it was COVID. So, so in any, I guess it did affect his, it, obviously it affected his performance. You know, they need to run the fade back. Yeah, why not? They should run the fade back. Definitely should run the fade back. But, uh, that, you know, it's up to them. But <clears throat> right now the fight is set for April 30th. And, you know, April is a hectic month. But um, it's set for April It's set for April 30th. And, um, and you know, they, they, wait, they say they're waiting on Shakir Stevenson to sign his half of the contract. So that's what they said. They waiting on Shakir Stevenson to sign his half of the contract. So apparently he ain't signed the contract. Neither talking about Valdez need to sign his contract. Maybe he signed it. Maybe he signed it and didn't return it. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they just <clears throat> doing something. But yeah, right now, uh Shakir Stevenson uh has signed his contract to fight, uh to take the fight. I mean, uh Valdez signed his contract and um like I said, Shakira Yellen signed a contract. You ain't signed the net neither. So they're recording it now. But um, hold on. Let's see if I can find this. So here we go. Uh, Oscar Valdez has now signed his contract to fight Shakira Steves and Nexus manager Frank Espinosa stated. Shakir responded to this by assisting he will do the same. So there's a WBC and WBO featherweight world title unification will be finalized. And I heard, also heard that they could be uh, finalizing that, uh, announcing that fight this coming week. It's always shifty. It's always shifty about that. So I heard they could be finalizing this fight next week. So, um, so I don't know. So apparently he just got to uh, apparently he just got to finalize his uh his side of it and um when they do we we'll, we we'll have a fight but um 
So I mean, he's like, my thing is, you talking about he ain't signed the contract, and neither have you. And maybe there is a, uh, maybe there is a, uh, maybe there is a direct correlation here. Maybe he just ain't signing it because he, you know, he waited for him to sign it. I don't know, man. I'm trying to find a way, but how you gonna just force somebody? Be like, hey, sign the contract, sign the contract. And then you ain't sign the contract. So to me, that's kind of strange, man. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on with there. So should be an announcement soon. I'm pretty sure at least they revised over it, and you know, not vowed as you know, whatever reason he didn't sign the contract. I don't think he had too much of a. I don't think he had too much of a choice, regardless and things. So uh, like you got to fight April 30th, MGM Grand. Las Vegas, and like I said about Shakir Stevenson, a lot of people don't get this opportunity, you know, that you get in this early in his career to have this big of a fight, especially in the smaller weight classes. Some people never get this this caliber of fight, you know, and you're 24 years old, so you get in this fight before you turn 25. You know, a lot of people don't get this fight, bro, and you know you got to perform. You you know you got to man, you got to you got to deliver a beating. You damn damn near got to stop him. If you go out here and do another uh, snoozer, you're going you gonna to lose, you know, popularity. That's just what it is. You got to go out there either deliver a beating of a lifetime because nobody want to see no hit and get hit and miss. You know, they want to see you destroy him, to be honest. So, you know, this this opportunity that you're getting, it don't come. It don't come to black fighters this often. It don't. Floyd had to wait. Terrence, gonna have, Terrence had to wait. Earl ain't never had this type of fight. It's a big fight, bro. He said he be Danny, he be Sean. Oh, this this different. This different. It's different. It's a little not saying it's bigger than those fights, it's just different. So in this progression before 25, you're gonna handle his business and do it in spectacular fashion. But let's move on to Earl and Ugas, man. Apparently, uh I had some information on this the other day, man. I sat on it. Apparently, they are not fighting in Cal uh, AT&T Stadium anymore. So I don't know why. And maybe this is the reason why it's taking a, a minute to uh, finalize the deal, but they no longer fight in AT&T Stadium. You know, um, apparently they're fighting in um, the Alamo Dome. They're going to San Antonio where Charlo Falkestanos. So I don't know if it was or I'm saying again, I don't know. If it was or Dennis Ugas who said, I'm not fighting in his backyard, I'm a champion. I don't know, you know, you know, uh, Metro mentioned maybe the Alamo Dome is cheaper, which it probably is. Uh, but they fighting in San Antonio, that's that's kind of in the whole 72,000. So, I mean, I remember Charlo Floor tickets was like 250. And Cowboy Stadium, hold on. Hold on. AT T Stadium, a whole eighty. So, excuse me. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, that's kind of you know, for the most part, they moving to Alamo Dome. And if I had to bet my pretty penny, if it's not a financial situation, as far as the venue, because you know you got to rent the venue, it's insurance policies and, and the rent. You know, they got they lease the building or whatever you want to call it, rent the building for the night. Um, I would bet my pretty penny that Ugas didn't want to fight in Spence's backyard. Now, you know, the AT&T Stadium get an event? Let's see. That's public information. Public information. See if they got an event. Because the date did change, too. The date was eight, April 16th. Now it's April 23rd. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, ain't no day. Ain't nobody take, take that date. Nope. As of right now, they got some April 2nd and 3rd, WrestleMania 38. And then they don't have nothing until May. So it ain't the date change. The next event they got after April 3rd, WrestleMania 38, it's May 7th. 2022, the Cowboys Taco Fest, which sounds freaking interesting. I'm the Taco Fest. 
Cone. So Miller Law probably presents the first Cowboy Taco Fest at Miller uh, Lighthouse at, at, at AT&T Stadium on Saturday, May 7th. Unique Festival will not only include a variety of world-class tacos, but live performers by country music stars William Michael Morgan, Hayden Kaufman, the Powell Brothers, and Peyton Howie, as well as local Hispanic entertainers. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo by enjoying over a dozen types of tacos at Miller Lighthouse at AT&T Stadium. Live music, Miller Light merchandise beer activity shopping and more take advantage of these early bird prices general admission is only 15 dollars and 20 on event day vip packages are available including early admission free parking free beverage and more tickets are on sale they see geek greet see geek doc i won't go to that i ain't gonna lie I, I, this might i won't go to that man i know i ain't mexican I, you know but I, over what you know over 20 Types of tacos, I think it said, bro. Oh man, I'm getting excited. I might need to take a trip for Taco Fest. No, y'all in Dallas, man. But go to Taco Fest, y'all slipping butt back on on cold. Um, so they don't have an event coming up. So if it is true that we that they switch into the Alamo Dome, I think it'd probably be, you know, like Mark, like he said, if the venue probably cheaper, or I mean. It's probably gonna be uh because Ugas don't want to fight Spence directly in his backyard. You know, you think about why this fight wasn't in Vegas because there ain't no big fight. I'm telling you, y'all be talking about niggas ticket sellers and dudes big stars and he bigger than him. You think you're bigger, but to me, you just he if he was a big enough star, this fight would be in Vegas. And I was listening to Michael Box, he said, Well, Vegas did nah nah. If this is a big fight, it's in Vegas, bro. Ain't no Earl Spence can't pull tickets like that with her, with any, just anybody. Only Canelo out here doing that. You know this should, this this type of big unification three belt world championship of the world in his back in his hometown it sound like a showcase to me. <laughs> so I, I don't I'm not, I'm pretty sure Dennis Uga said I ain't fighting him in his backyard. They probably said we can we can accommodate you with in San Antonio. I'm surprised they didn't do the crypto arena, but. Like I said before, this you know this fight don't sell everywhere, so they got to keep it in Texas. So, like I said, if it did, they are twitching. You know, obviously it's not that it's not an event at AT and T Stadium that um that we know about yet because it's not listed on the um somebody might know something in the comment section in the website. But um, like I said, you know, San Antonio, that's the word, it's the good word. And my thing is uh, Broner from Madonna there, and I, I'm I'm guessing that or Dennis Ugas just didn't want to go to Spence backyard. That's my best guess. That's my best guess that he didn't want to go to Spencer's backyard. So do you blame him? You a champion. Um, we a champion. So I don't blame him, but um, keep it moving. So uh, let's run through some of this. So it says that. Uh, Um, it says Spencer Ugas Alamo Dome, Texas. There we go. Um, it says if also if you can watch the live. Also, Canelo announces fight next week since the golf tournament already finished. Okay, so on the Spencer undercard, you either gonna get uh Mickey Roman, excuse me, I said Mickey Ro Mar Martinez to, to somebody else, but it's Mickey Roman or e versus Issa Cruz or Issa Cruz versus Yurikas Gamboa on the undercard. So they are already uh they are already giving you a trash undercard. <laughs> I'm sorry. They already I don't know who Mickey Roman is. They already I don't know if that's the co feature. I can't tell you that if it's the co feature. I always put small people, excuse me, on the on the on the undercard. Because they they economically make sense. So uh so one of the possible dates now is April 23rd. I'm gonna talk about that date in another video. So, so that's what they're doing right now. Um, so, yep. So, I think they said also, Jordan Acostas versus Puma Martinez is on. So, you got two small guys on the undercard. So, you got Easter Cruz, a 35-pounder, and then uh, Jordan Acostas is what? Like a, a paperweight or something like that? He's a, 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 a super flyweight, junior bantamweight. Now apparently they tried to get him and uh 
What's my man's name? They tried to get him and Cashman Ewer to fight Don Nero and knew you why they didn't want to fight him. So this is what you get. So knew you why Don Nero fight next. So so uh so yep, that's kind of where we at with it. Um so Spence and, and Earl could be moving to Alamo. So we'll see. I don't know why they're moving from Dallas. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and guess. It could be financial, but I'm gonna guess that Ooh guys didn't want to fight him in his backyard. And for this to be a massive fight, it might Eddie Hunt, but it's massive fight. You know, why is it didn't hit somebody's backyard? Anyway, you gotta ask yourself that too. Why is it in somebody's backyard? Why this fight? If this is a big welterweight fight, why this ain't in Vegas? Why Vegas ain't bid on this? Why in Vegas say, I roll up, I roll up. Whenever you call, baby, I roll up. Why they ain't pull up? And say, we want this fuck. Cause no, because it ain't a big fight. I'm telling y'all what it is already. This is a big welterweight unification. And, and this is a great... F- no, man, it's bull. Everybody know Ugas coming in. Nobody care about Ugas. And Earl ain't Canelo. Where you find anybody, any turn to go? You know? So, like I said before, that's just the way they hanging. And that's the latest rumor. But, uh... You know, Alamo Dome's cool. Um, go to San Antonio, never been. So see how how that play out, how that roll out. But um, I mean, it is what it is. That's what they gonna do. We put a whole bunch of small people on the undercard. You already know how, how I'm rolling. You know how I'm rolling for this fight. You know what I'm putting in. You know, join the Discord, join the membership. You know, I give part of that. I can't really put that in the membership. I'm gonna give y'all links. Give y'all links to these fights, man. So you in the Discord, five dollars cash at me or join the membership, three, ten, twenty dollars. Um, see what, what role won't work for you. Hit the join button, and you know, I got a special list of links that's guaranteed to work. So um, yeah, but uh before you know you cash at me, send me up on social media, I'll send you the link to the Discord and so you can get all them links, get all this information. They got this information and more early before everybody else. So have fun in there too. And it's Motivation Monday. So, uh, shout out to Boxer River Playlist. Uh, 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 thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, Christians, not- get notifications. Uh, best way to donate, want to make a financial donation, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Bimo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. Oh, I said all that. Excuse me. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, too. All in the description. I business question, inquiry, response, video quest. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know. Stay in the comment section. Peace.